of subscribers and obviously not subscribers. I'm gonna lower the music right now. I'm gonna lower the sound just a little bit real quick. Um, but yes, this game is actually not it's anywhere on it anymore, of course. Just to troll me a little bit. But it is. Let me bring this up to make sure I am getting it correct. Yes, dysfunctional systems learning to manage chaos. Um. But before we actually go and hop into the game real quick, um, this is an episodic series, so it will get new episodes periodically. I don't know the actual schedule for when episodes will be released. I will place in the description um, a link to the Steam page where you can buy it, and I'll check to see if you can buy it from their website. If so, I will provide a link to there in case you want to buy it directly from their website instead of through Steam. It doesn't really matter to me either way. But before we actually, again, hop into this, um, anyone, if anyone has seen the anime um, School Days, I just finished playing through the visual novel for it. Yeah. I may do a series for it. I'll just have to remember to edit out scenes through it. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and actually hop into the game now. And I haven't played through too much. I've played a little bit of it story. I haven't yet had the opportunity to make any real choices so far. Because there's no real audio for voice acting. Working families across Brighton are no doubt issuing a collective sigh of relief today as the legislation for a minimum wage increase of 50 cents passed in Parliament early this morning. I'll lower that music even further. I still want the music to be there, just hard to hear. This bill comes after public outcry that the majority of Brian citizens are without enough income to afford to make ends meet after the recent increase in food prices. The change brings minimum wage for workers working over 40 hours a week to 367 an hour and workers working less to 320. Although welcome by most, there has been some stiff opposition towards the bill from foreign investors, primarily those from Gabria. Major gay-brain companies such as Uchiko and Norkley have warned that wage increases would hurt Brighton's economy, arguing that the new rate would force more layoffs as they cannot afford as many employees. President Barnaby, who has been supportive of legislation since its inception, retorted that well-fed employees were more productive and reminded Uchiko and Norkley representatives that employing a Brian citizen was still over 16 times less expensive than employing a citizen of their home country. Stocks did, however, take a moderate tumble after the approval of the legislation. President Barnaby, Barnaby assured citizens that the drop should only be temporary and that the market will begin to rise again after the initial shock has subsided. With this minimum wage increase, Barnaby has finally fulfilled the last of the campaign promises made during his 1523 campaign trial. Whether or not he manages to accomplish his 1527 goals remains to be seen. With that, we conclude our hourly business report next up with the latest entertainment news. Without that, I still find it strange. Everything's strange, bizarre. Really, if these worlds have not, or were nothing like my own at least, then I could appropriately flip out. But no, they're similar, too similar. I keep slipping into a feeling of normalcy, only to have that sensation of strangeness slap me across the face at the first sight of something weird. And there are plenty of weird sights around to do so, too. Like, for instance, those advanced-looking televisions in this decrepit-looking building, which I can only assume is an electronic store. There are first things I've seen, or they are the first things I've seen since arriving in this world that actually look somewhat new fancy even. Up until now everything has been old, ramshackle, and in various states of disrepair. It makes me feel very nervous. It's just so profoundly disturbing. Well, I ever will or will I ever get used to this? I think that I will. Some year or decade from now if my mentor is any indication. Look at him, sending there so aloof as if this were just another day to him. Which, yeah, I suppose it is. Well, what do I do now? Nothing. Winter. Yes. Pop open our codec. 
So, Brighton is a minor society on S8659541 Sul, with strong historical and present connections to both Gabriel and Feridia. I'm probably mispronouncing that. A site of several rich mineral deposits that has or it was previously a Gabrian colony, but gained independence 120 school years ago. It also shares a large portion of its borders with Feridia with a true or and a truce has been signed between Gabriel and Feridia concerning the territory Brighton was still a colony at the time. Although Brighton shares in the technological advancement of its mother country, it does not share in prosperity and is economically weak by comparison. The Brighton people are a hard-working and closely knit group, and tend to describe themselves metaphorically as ants. This society has not yet been visited. Sewell System 8659541 Plain P73813 Local Name Sewell Status Active Type Plant Major Societies 9 Development Scientific Low Level Rapid Advancement Physics Rigid Plain Shared with S240821 S865940 and S865943 Isolated Yes Visits 45 Personal Security Note Many species of fish and sewer are poisonous to earth and avoid seafood to be safe. System 8659541 Sewell is one of four planetary civilizations known to reside on plane 73813. Currently it is unaware of its distant neighbors and is likely to remain so as it has not yet achieved interstellar travel. Sewell's five continents are largely arid and mountainous. However, each contains small patches of fertile land. These lands were once endangered due to war and conflict, but are now fiercely protected as a result of mediation visits numbers 8 through 15. S8659541 contains 12 oceans, all of which are heavily salted and somewhat acidic. Nevertheless, these oceans contain a variety of sea life and consequently fishing constitutes a large portion of both the economy and food supply of Sewell. International conflicts with regards to the ownership and right to fit sea life was resolved in mediation visits 16 to 22. The harsh conditions on the planet have led to an increase in the rate of technological advancements, causing Sewell to teeter on the brink of an outlier classification. Scientific discoveries can happen much more quickly here than in most other worlds. Due to this, levels of chaos within the society are variable and may spike unexpectedly. However, overall, this has not been a common occurrence. Although there are nine societies on Sewell of notable influence, there are three that are of particularly importance in the system. These three are called Gabria, Ferdia, and Rosari. Probably mispronouncing a lot of these anyway. The remaining six, Roma, Karas, Dom, Jonas, the Madland, and Messe, are not usually of major consequence, though are often caught up in the quarrels of the main three. The main three will be covered in brief in the following paragraph. Please visit their respective codex entries for more in-depth information. Gabriel is the most economically powerful of the three, largely due to its sizable number of colonies scattered across the globe. It is also the most frequently problematic. Feridia is a military superpower as well as a paragon of the arts. It is prone to warring and is also commonly involved in the subject of mediation. The last society, Rosari, is diabolical, having a reputation of cruelty and bizarre acts of violence. It has used fear to raise or to rise to power and control of the populace. Inter interestingly, it is the least problematic of the three, and its involvement in issues can dramatically lower the levels of chaos. Despite Sewell's occasionally high levels of chaos, it has not often required mediation and is considered quite stable. Still, caution should be taken when visiting this world. Let's go back and resume. Yes? What do you think? Think? About what? About what we just saw and heard. Uh oh. To be honest, I wasn't really thinking anything about it. Winter, we've only just started. Please try to focus. Yes, yeah, I will, sorry. And Winter's a girl, I can't do a female voice, so I'm not gonna try. It's just, well, I, I'm still finding it a bit hard to wrap my head around the idea of destructive conflict. Well, of course, I was the same when I first started out. There aren't that many examples of conflict at all in our world. Right. You might even find it surprising that war is actually a word in our dictionary. Totally. Get still. Winter, you'll come to understand conflict very, very well. Don't worry. After all, you'll be doing nothing but dealing with it. 
Lame. Well, anyway. You read the material in this world, right? It should have been your homework. It was. Then tell me what you think. Er... Perhaps it's time to admit that I didn't spend much a last night reading the material so much as turning the pages and glancing at them. I was tired and honestly found watching the bubbles in my soda significantly more captivating than the words in those files. The way they merge with each other and crawl up the glass is really incredibly pretty. You're certainly pondering rather hard there, Winter. You must be whipping up a dazzling answer. Brighton is poor? That's a fact, which are not a thought. S sorry, um, what I think is... I think... Nothing. What I've learned so far in class doesn't seem to be particularly applicable to this world, so I'm finding it a bit difficult to care. How can I care anyway? Besides all that, this is all so disconnected from me. Plus, it's only my second world, for heaven's sake. I'm still... Oh god. Flamoxed by the fact that other worlds exist. What am I supposed to think, Linder? When they just toss me into these places, give me a pat on the back and say, Go on your way, merry child. Actually, here's Bob. What kind of name is Brighton? It's a stupid name for a country. It sounds more like a town. A town of Brighton, population 40. Er, blah, I scream blah, Cyrus, and any other mentor who questions me like this. I mean, I won't, but I would. I completely, totally, and so would. For now, though, an awkward and wobbling smile is all I can muster. Blah. Well, whatever. What do you think the next step is? Alright, cool it, Winter. Just remain calm and genuinely consider the question. Hmm. The next thing to do, we need to learn the... We need to learn things that weren't given? Right. Sir, I couldn't ask my last mentor, why are the dossiers we get before we come to these places so... Hmm, so thin? Well, it's because they are simply comprised of first-hand information, noteworthy things that mediators have gathered through observation and gleaned from prior trips to the world. You're lucky you even, got, you even have that much. Sometimes you get sent to worlds that have never been visited before. Let me tell you, it's never fun when a surprise dragon flies out from behind a mountain or when you realize that the person you've been talking to is really just a convincing projection or worse, a robot. Okay, I need to actually up the music a little bit. I don't like how I get those sound, pretty much. I like to actually have some music, thanks. And once you start going into systems that threaten your definition of being a world, even means, <laughs> good luck. And again, only experienced med mediators have to deal with such things. You won't be going to any unvisited worlds, at least, definitely not yet. Hmm. Oh. Another question. Why revisit worlds that have been helped? I mean, once order is in place, everything should be fine, right? I, uh, I mean... Cyrus frowned, but his expression seems more complicated than that. I say that because his frown isn't alone. In his eyes, there is a glint of irritation directed at no one in particular. Has any glint it's gone in a second? Replaced by another thing that I can't quite decipher. Part of me is curious as to what it is, but most of me doesn't care. Here's a short answer. Because chaos cannot be contained or removed. Although it can't be lessened by us, it will rise again over time. Uh... Sir, are you saying there's no point to anything? No. Chaos is not inherently bad, Winter. It is the means by which all worlds are born and continue, even ours. Furthermore, it is a spark of evolution. It plays a key part in those mutations which allow life to grow and improve itself. However, for life to succeed, there must also be order. It's like, hmm, well, it's like how cells must work together and organs must serve their purpose. You see, a system where chaos is stronger than order is likely to collapse, just as an organism which has succumbed to disease is likely to die. In short, we're not here to eradicate chaos, Winter. We're only here to keep it in check. Oh. Anyway, where do you think we should go next? Um, well, someplace with a lot of information, I suppose. But I'm gonna get to thinking about such a place. Oh, surprise, I'm done. The answer is so obvious, it's insulting. After all, I had 